Hello Linux fans, my name is Joseph and I'm talking about Linux. Today I take a look at Linux Mint 19.3 beta. This is not an official release, but we can take a look. There are some really nice features I want to show you, but it's not for your production machine. You have to wait a few days until there is an official release. There are some little changes in the design. As you see, it's very dark. And here you can see on the left corner the new logo. It's flat and here it is rounded. So let's see what's new. I close the welcome screen. There is nothing new in here. Let's check system reports. Oh, here. Reports. They are running some system checks. Linux Mint is trying to detect potential issues on your computer. For example, if you are missing a language package, or a multimedia codec or a hardware driver, a little icon in the panel will let you know and it will also provide solutions. Here you can see the warning icon. And now we are in system reports. I installed Linux Mint 19.3 in the VM and now it tells me I can install hardware drivers for the following devices. I could launch the driver manager or I can ignore the problem. Now let's go to install language package. The following localization packages are missing to properly support your language. Open Office Archivenation. Now it's, a, uh, it's an add-on for Open Office. For my country, for Germany, I can install the language pack or I can ignore the problem. Now I can set the root password if I like. The root account is locked by default in Linux Mint and its password is not set. As you know in Debian, I can set a root password. It's impossible in Linux Mint. Now, uh, if I like to have it the same way as in Debian, I can set a root password here. And here is how it um, works. Uh, you have to open a terminal and type sudo password root. And then you have to um, type in the password. As you may know, Linux Mint provides a um, restore utility. It's called time shift. And you can launch time shift now or you can ignore the, the it's not really a problem if you don't use time shift but it's um, a good idea to have backups are available if something goes wrong with your system now you can use time shift you can take snapshots there and you can do that manually or automatically so here you can find all possible detected problems and the solutions for the problems. That's good. Now let's go into language settings. What's new? You can um, edit the time format here. Now let's open display. Here you can see in settings, user interface scaling, normal, or high dpi you can set that in all three linux mint editions in cinnamon in mate in xfc there are some new applications in in linux mint here for example if we go to sound and video you find celluloid celluloid is a new player and it replaces X player, the old player. Why is that? It provides much better performance and hardware accelerated playback. So it also can handle um, larger resolutions than X player did. 
well let's close that again and let's go to graphics as you see there is no GIMP in here it is replaced by drawing well drawing is a much simpler uh, program than GIMP is GIMP is very complicated some users say too complicated if you only want to resize an image for example so this is drawing it is easy to use and it's very fast and if you need more you can install GIMP anyway if you like now let's go to the cinnamon panel down here Let's go to panel edit mode, then to panel settings. Now you can see we have a left zone, a center zone and a right zone. And we can set, for example, the icon size for each zone. Let's change that for the left zone, for example. Uh, not optimally as Linux Mint thinks, but for example, 22 pixel or 24 pixel or 32 pixel or 48 now the symbolic there are no symbolic icons here we have to go to the right zone they are, they are very small here uh, would like to enlarge the icons here and this is independent to the icons on the left side. So let's go to the left side again and extra small 22 pixels. And here we have large icons here. And we can also set the font size here. for the left zone but there are no uh, fonts here so let's configure here the menu and let's write some text in here for example menu so now you see here text close that again and now we have a font size of 7.5 uh, would like to enlarge this 10.5 or 12 now it's 12 point or 8 point very small and now let's change it to default settings again allow theme to determine font size this is the font size of the theme and now scale to panel size optimally that's that and here the same in the right zone and the symbolic icon size we have to change it again a little bit smaller that's nice to have don't forget to close the panel edit mode here Now let's go to the preferences of a file manager Nemo here preferences and now there are context menus so let's now you can uh, click visible entries in the selection in the background icon view or desktop now what does that mean a selection means what you see if you right click on a folder for example you see open open a new tab open a new window and so on here but we have no duplicate here if we right click now let's change that now we have duplicate here what does background mean here right click on the background in Nemo 
you see create new folder, create new document, open a terminal, open as root, arrange items, um, show hidden files, paste and properties. Another new feature is the icon chooser here. Let's right click here, configure. And if you don't like the icon here, you can change it and you see here what you can choose from. If you prefer the older logo here, no problem. Select and there will be the old logo. But I want back to the Linux Mint filled ring, filled ring logo. Select here is the filled ring, or without a ring and transparent, or filled here. Yeah, that's good little things but they show that the Linux Mint team takes care. I like what I see. It's good. This was a quick look at what's new in Linux Mint 19.3 beta. Bye bye.